Hello everyone, and today I'm super excited to share the benefits of having a powerful workstation. As we all know, as a filmmaker, VFX artist, or any content creators, having a powerful workstation is very important. It helps you to edit faster and render faster, whether it be video, a VFX, or any content. So we'll talk more about the powerful workstation, but for now, PC parts that I have used in my workstation. So without any delay, let's get into it. Okay, let's talk about building a powerful workstation today. Uh, this PC was built for video editing and doing VFX work in mind. And I really needed something so powerful that won't compromise in terms of speed, power, and performance. Workstations are so ideal for content creators. This is why it's so important to know how much power do you need for your kind of work. Because every creator is different and they have a different workflow. Some may just need for a simple video editing for YouTube. Some may just need for a motion graphics. And some go crazy on visual effects in their work. So they need a bit powerful workstation. So for this reason, I have made a simple video, which is not scientific, but helps to guide what kind of PC parts you can buy or build for yourself according to your work. But remember, this is not a must follow rules, but just the simple guidelines. But you can always build whatever you can afford within your budget. So let's dive deeper. The reason we need powerful workstation is because we use a powerful software. For instance, Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, After Effects, Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro. This kind of software are not really uh, CPU heavy. They are more uh, RAM and GPU. And software like Houdini, Maya, Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, and Blender. This kind of 3D software are the app that I use at maximum of all areas, CPU, GPU, and RAM. But today, we'll explore more about video editing and what kind of workstation you need for this kind of work. So let's get into it. Okay, here's the chart for your video editing workflow. Uh, these are just the basic guidelines and not a scientific one. Uh, you can have a look through on the chart. But for now, let's uh, explore more with the storage for hard text drive, solid straight drive, and AMD 2 NVMe SSD. Uh, people don't realize how important is uh, your file storage for video editing. If you have a faster uh, text drive for a file transfer from your hard drive to the application like DaVinci, Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro, your workflow is much more faster. So it's really important that you have your cache file, we say, to keep your file for editing. Um, always keep it in a faster storage. Uh, for instance, here, if you can afford M.2 NVMe SSD, it's a lot, lot faster and you can edit much more faster and smooth. But if you have SSD, still not bad. But once you go like 4K, 5K or 6K, 8K plus, you'll see start seeing some lag. But if you are completely editing your footage from hard disk drive, it's going to be a lot slower, guys. Even 1080p video is going to be lagging. So the stories are more important along with your CPU, GPU and RAM. Uh, it does plays a big role all right so this is all about the video editing and hope you enjoy it in the future so probably i'm gonna upgrade my workstation please help me out don't forget to like share or subscribe my channel i hope this was all helpful thank you very much i love you all for supporting me and making me stronger every day i'll see you soon and goodbye for now